Good afternoon, everyone. It's Zach with Harder, Happier, Healthier. How you doing today? Doing all right? I uh, wanted to talk about a, it, it has to be a super sensitive subject because every time I bring it up uh, on my Facebook group, somebody loses their shit. And it's, you know, <clears throat> people keep saying, yeah, and I think it's probably partly Paul Saladino's fault. And, you know, Paul might have some sort of specific problem with him where he thinks that he needs fruit and there might be some other reason why, you know, he's, he's requiring this, you know, however many grams of, of carbohydrates a day to, to be meat based. Um, I, I post, you know, some studies or, or a link to some information about a study or like, uh, Sean Baker's videos about this new study that just came out. It's basically, it was 80 participants basically that, you know, the people these were on these weren't healthy people to begin with they but you know the people that were eating fruit continued to get worse the people that stopped eating fruit lost weight right so you got people that gain weight you have people that lost weight if you're gaining weight it probably means you're pushing more toward metabolically unhealthy right uh, my own research with fruit <clears throat> um i found that when the studies are done there is a, a huge correlation of like just not being good in, in general for humans, right? Um, when our blood sugar gets raised or fructose gets broken down in the liver, its byproduct is aldehydes, which is alcohol, okay? Uh, that's one of the breakdown pathways, but basically what happens is when your body takes in fruit, it can use some of it to put sugar, sugar into your bloodstream, but over a certain amount, sugar is toxic to humans, so we don't really need to take in exogenous sugar. Fruit is should be something that you do sparingly and i don't mean like every day is like a ritual like i eat my you know you know adding this and this fruit to to you know a steak or something like that like what paul does is like dumps uh honey on his steak i don't i don't know why he would do that it doesn't seem like that would taste good but he seems to think that that's what he needs and all the other carnivores you know carnivores don't need to do that so there must be something with him that's different that um you know that everybody else doesn't have um, so I think that one, if you see somebody post about fruit, understand that it, it's like, it's a, it's, it would be looked at like a vice. It's like coffee. Um, it's not required. There's no nutrients in fruit that we require that we can't get from other sources. One. So that means it's, it's not a necessary ingredient in our, you know, in our daily lives. It just doesn't, doesn't need to be there. If it is there and you enjoy it, you know, fructose does activate your, uh, dopamine pathways, right? So you're going to like it. Of course, you're going to like it. And that's why when I post it, people get all butthurt about it. They're like, oh, you can't demonize fruit. You're, you know, one lady was like, you're in a cult. I'm like, no, it's just, I just, it, to me, it's, it's cultish to everybody to do the same thing, expecting a different result. Everybody's getting diabetes. Everybody's getting sick. So that to me is a cult and that's stupid. So, you know, if you, if you learn some information that says, hey, possibly fruit's not good for you, then the best thing to do would be to try to wean off of it, right? You, you think that you need it. You, you more, most likely the people that are still eating fruit and are carnivore never went through the sugar come off process and they're still always burning sugar. Okay. You never really got keto adapted or allowed your body to uh, adapt to metabolizing fat for fuel. And that's the reason why you're hanging on to it. And that's the reason why you feel like you need it. And I've seen this with my wife. My wife's never never went through that process, and she eats fruit every single day. Um, you know, there's there's I've done experiments with all of it. I've tried it. I've you know added it, taken it, taken it away, seeing what the effects are. The effects are usually bad. Um, even things like anxiety and and just like feeling bad, and you know. So in general, I think fruit is a no no, especially if you want to be on a human, you know, human specific diet. Did we eat it sparingly in some time, you know, in some times? Yes. But when we were eating it, it literally signals your body to make triglycerides and to store fat, right? So its only purpose is to fatten, fatten yourself up before um, the winter, right? Which would be the time, which would be the summertime when you, when, when those the fruits would be available. So I think that regardless of how you feel, you know, if you feel attacked by the whole fruit, you know, if somebody demonizes fruit, that's not like, that's an issue within you. That's not the, the, their fault. Like they're, they're, just, they're just posting information, right? So I've covered this before. These people with like with diet, it's like, 
people will call me a cultist, but I'm not getting upset when, if somebody says, oh, you know, carnivore is stupid or, you know, meat's going to kill you. Like, I'm like, okay, well, show me the evidence, right? And there is none. And this is a fact, right? We, we know that we, we have to have fat to survive, right? We need essential fatty acids. So I know that they're wrong. So I don't, I'm not going to get offended. Like, oh, no, meat's really good. You have to have meat. I know that's true, but I don't need to prove that because I like I, I'm I'm sure of what how I feel, right? And there's none of that on the internet. Everybody is just going from like this new idea to this new idea, and oh wait, well fruit's good, it's fruit's bad, and eggs are good, eggs are bad, and you know people are just ready to jump on the bandwagon. And when you do that, and you're not listening, right? I don't I shut up and listen, right? Somebody shows me a study, I'm going to listen to it, I'm listen to every word of it, and I'm going to compare it to other things that I know. But I'm not going to get mad at the person who posted it. If somebody says, oh, meat's going to kill you tomorrow, right? I would be like, okay, well, maybe I should listen to this. That's fine. Let me listen to it. And then I also need to know where the person, who the, who the person that's saying the information, where they're coming from, okay? I've said this before. Don't take nutritional advice from anyone you wouldn't want to look like, okay? If somebody's on, on the internet and, you know, they're all puffy and fat and looked inflamed and, you know, they're one chocolate chip away from diabetes, Maybe you shouldn't ask, listen to what they're saying about whether or not fruit's good or not. Because if they're telling you fruit's good and they look like that, the results don't really line up, okay? So listen to people. And, you know, you also need to take into account things like, you know, is, is do, maybe they're skinny, but is, does, that, does that represent health to you? Because it doesn't to me. How does their skin look? Are their eyes white? Do they have, you know, if it's somebody's a big bodybuilder and you look at their back, see this right here? Do you see any... Do you see any red bumps, right? That's because I don't take steroids, okay? So when you see somebody who's all big and they got like blotchy skin and like little bumps and you know, like little patches of like, it looks unhealthy, that's steroids, right? So maybe you shouldn't listen to them. So you gotta look at the whole picture, okay? Don't just take anyone's advice. But when it comes to fruit, I have to say that everything points to it's not that good. And if you do do it, like my wife's metabolically healthy, right? She was never really been, she's never been close to diabetes or, or fat or overweight or any of that stuff. So she's already prepared to handle an assault like fruit. So when she eats the fruit, her results are going to be completely different than somebody like me who's coming from not so healthy before. Okay. So that's the thing you have to consider. What works for one person may not work for another. And also it's very possible that it's toxic for you and maybe not so much for them, right? So maybe you would have to do less of it, okay? So, but in general, it's not required. Um, you know, there's some, I have had some experience with playing with, um, for, uh, sorry, glucose with you know, like some heart palpitations and stuff and like a bump, I know that a bump in insulin or like some really lean meat will actually help with like, uh, electrolytes and things like that. And I think that that's what Paul Saldino is going for is just like getting that huge spike of insulin so that you retain more of your, um, you know, salts and stuff, which is, and today's day and age, we're constantly being assaulted by, uh, EMFs and all these different things. So we go through a lot more electrolytes than we normally would. Right. So are the, are, are Paul Saladino, is he requiring fruit because, you know, that's, evolutionarily consistent no right we we don't need the fruit and our, our ancestors didn't eat three four five six like he's eating like three or four different fruit things with his meals you know maybe he's requiring that for his electrolytes because he's being they're being used up by something he's doing okay so there's there's always a nuance there there's always something that we have to look behind and say what's the reason why he's needing to do it and it may not be what he thinks he may think that it's because he needs an insulin spike but it could be because he's using up his electrolytes because of different things he's doing maybe he's you know sweating too much maybe he's drinking you know or, or consuming maybe all the vitamins or something that he's taking or you know his pills or, or sucking electrolytes out of we don't know like you, we just don't know what those connections are so the fruit thing is a serious issue because I think that it will prevent a lot of people doing carnivore from getting results, which is going to give carnivore a bad name, you know, strict carnivore. And I think that, you know, even th eating things like pork and chicken can also do that because, you know, they're not really healthy foods. Um, not in America, at least, you know, if you can get organic or you know how it was raised, then that's awesome, right? That's the best thing to do. But, you know, the average person doesn't have access to that. So, you know, you go around telling people, oh, it's great to have pork. It's great to have this and you have bad results, 
you know, that's going to look bad on everybody else who's doing, you know, who's doing carnivore and doing it right. And then you say, oh, I didn't do carnivore anymore. And then I asked, what did you eat? Oh, I was drinking coffee. Uh, I was still eating fruit. I was eating pork. I was eating chicken. It's like, okay, well, that wasn't carnivore. So you had all those bad results because you weren't doing it correctly. Um, yeah, I, I posted a link in um, my car, uh, Facebook group, Carnivore Harder, Happier, Healthier, um, about this fruit studies and also about, you know, just some, uh, Ken Berry has a video on fruit. It doesn't, you know, it's not very good. It's a couple of, uh, you know, keto down under uh, videos uh, for some really good doctors who like explain metabolism and fructose and everything pretty specifically. And it's just, there's, there's no real benefit to it. There's actually no benefit to fructose. Um, we know that raising our blood sugar for an extended period of time is damaging and that damage can take five, six days to heal. So we talk about your glycocalyx, which is the largest organ in the body. The, your glycocalyx, which are these little like hairs on the inside of your blood vessels, are the largest organ in your body. It's not your skin. There's more surface. There's like 10 times more surface area of your blood vessels than there are uh, glycocalyx than, than your skin. So you, that's the most important organ, largest organ, and it's being damaged every time you put fructose or sugar in your body because humans should not consume exogenous glucose. We have close together eyes like all other carnivores. Um, the whole teeth thing has been explained several times. Flat teeth in the back doesn't mean doesn't mean plant chewing. It means uh, being able to grind and, and, and you know, pre-digest the meat. So we have front teeth for tearing and back teeth for, for grinding the meat up. It's, it's you know, evolutionary consist consistent as well. Um, but yeah, we, we are out looking carnivores and there there is no, you know, our, our environment may, um, you know, have a toxic effect on us that makes us feel or makes may seem like we need, um, you know, the, this and that. But I think that Overall, Paul Saladino is incorrect, and he's a very smart dude. He's doing the best that he has to do for his health, which is great. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily listen to what he says about that because you may not get the results that you're looking for. So when it comes to fruit, I would say try to stay away from it. And, you know, if you do eat it, maybe just a few little bits here and there. You don't really need that much. Um, you know, try to... Uh, gather as much information on it, right? And don't just listen to somebody who says, oh, fruits are good because, you know, I mean, our, first of all, I know fruits are bad for us because the government tells you that you need six to eight servings of it a day, okay? If the government's telling me to do something, I know I need to do the opposite, right? So just because in general, the, the stupidity of the people that run the government and just by nature, their, their indications of what we should do are just always wrong, okay? And Maybe they have good intentions. Maybe they're evil. I don't know. But either you know, it's ignorance or evil, one of the two. Um, but we don't need fruit, and it's not required. Uh, meat is required. So eat more of that, and I hope you feel better. Talk to you soon. Bye.